My name's Rona Whittet. I'm Student Recruitment Officer here at Aberty University. I'm one of the leads for the Brave U Academy Supporting Able Pupils project. We have given them a variety of um, topics to, to study when they've been here at Aberty and one of them has been research skills as well as presentation skills. It's a new experience for them and it's good for them for team working and it's encouraged them for confidence. Our project is Capital Polish. Capital Polish Fund is where people get put to death and then they get to learn about the
tell the difference between each individual's DNA. Identical twins are the only people who have the same DNA. Famous case is fingerprints. Fingerprints help solve the case in central London in March 1905. The man who was dead in the shop. A fingerprint was found at the scene by the matching the victim. The police found two suspects, the prints matched. They were both given life sentences. Famous cases, DNA. It was first used in the UK to solve a murder in England in 1986. Sir Alec Jeffries was asked to compare a DNA sample found in the victim, but it came back negative. The police didn't have any other suspects, so they asked everyone within five miles of the scene to give a DNA sample. The police found a match and Colonel Pitchford was arrested. These are our references. Thanks for listening. Any questions? Thank you very much. What was the most important um, part of the process? Um, I think it's all important. Why did you um, decide to do uh, forensic sciences on the presentation? Uh, we didn't know very much about it, so we wanted to let you into it. Does it encourage you to maybe study forensic science? Yeah, it's really interesting. Hello and welcome to How to Take the Best Free Kicks by me, Dan Robson. What are free kicks? Free kicks are the way to start the, to start the game after a film. There are two different types of free kicks. Direct, where you can shoot from a free kick. And indirect, where you, can, you can't shoot and have to pass from a free kick. Here's Ar Arsenal take a free kick for you. The wall. The wall is one to four people standing together making it harder for the free kick taker to score. And one time I was in the wall and I got the ball hit right off my face. I didn't manage to play so much. <laughs> Who are the best free kick takers? It's hard to, hard to take a good free kick, but these people would make it easy. And some of the suggestions I have are uh, Ronaldo, Cristiano Ronaldo later, and Roberto Carlos, Gianfranco Zola, and Robert uh, Robert Baggio. They're the best because they, they're talented at chain their free kicks. Power replacement. And there are two different ways to take a free kick. You can use power but your aim won't be as good. But you can try and place it by your power will be as good. It's tricky to find a perfect mix of both. It's all up to you now. Hopefully you enjoyed and learned from this PowerPoint and the next time you step up to take a free kick, you remember how to make the best free kick. That's all true. Who is your team who support? Um, when I was young, I used to support Manchester United, and I'm not really that uh, invested in football anymore, but I still like them. I'm going to be talking about Athens. And uh, all the Athens will be in the career of football developments. Um, the first group um, of Alpine Metals in React War. Um, the second one are Alpine Metals that are from Benel in the ground. Uh, an atom consists of three parts, so proton, neutrons and electrons. Uh, protons have a mass of one and have a charge of one. Uh, neutrons have the same mass but has no charge. And electrons have no mass but a uh, negative one charge. All the elements that are on the wrong are made, but well, most of them are uh, radioactive. And this is the rules for um, you get the two elements and um, symbols, and that's my sources. Any questions? I was asked the obvious one, why did you play atoms? I'm uh, really interested in chemistry and it's a long way in chemistry and that. Interior design and architecture. Frank Lloyd Wright was an architect, designer, writer, and an educator. He was born on the 8th of June 1867 and died on April 9th, 1859. At 8 years of age, he graduated from the University of Wisconsin and he was born. About his work, his work was inspired by European modernists and modern America. He based his designs on modern America, American architectural traditions. The Farm Waterhouse. Frank Lloyd Wright designed his most famous structure called the Farm Waterhouse in 1935 for the Edgar J. Hilton family of Pittsburgh. Philip Stark. Philip Stark was born on the 18th of January in 1949. He turned 67 years old this year. He is a famous French designer who covered most, who covered different forms of art design from interior design to chairs and electronic devices. He studied at Notre Dame in de saint in Paris, France. 
Philip Stark is a French designer since the start of his career in the 1980s for his interior product, industrial and architectural design, including furniture and objects that have simple but inventive structures. People first recognised him in 1982 after he designed the interior of an apartment belonging to the former French president. Lenage. Philip Stark designed the recent building in France called the Louis Lenage, which means a club. As a French shop said, you could not help Lenage. The difference is Philip Stark is a newer artist and designs more modern and fun structures. Frank Lloyd Wright is an older artist and his designs are based more on nature and outdoors. The aim of our presentation was to compare two artists and show how interior design has changed over the years. We researched how interior de design differs in two different countries and cultures. We found out that two designers we researched have very different styles of interior design and architecture. Does anyone have any questions? How much would the house be worth to do? Um, two million seven hundred and thirty six thousand dollars. How much was it bought for in there? Um, one hundred and fifty five thousand dollars. It's amazing. The first time I saw them in January and to when I saw them doing the presentations in, in March, what a difference they've, they've made themselves and managed to um, interact with the mentors and with also the academic staff on the project as well. They've certainly shown to me that they're very able pupils and hopefully we can see them at Aberty in the, in, in the future.